Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guest is an investment officer by day, but a, a writer at night, a man with a deep passion for the written word. And over the past three decades, his work has graced the Chronicle, the Examiner. It's been heard over the BBC Airways and displayed at the Baseball Hall of Fame. And now his first book, a memoir of one man's journey through life, the joy, the love, the reflection, and the healing. It's titled, If You Ever uh, Need Me, I Won't Be Far Away. What it means to be alive, he plays a uh, tour guide basically to a life that has had a ton of ups and downs. All in his words, please say hi to Bruce Farrell Rosen. How are you? Nice to meet you, Frank. Good to have Doing you on well, board. Thank you. Well, uh, thumb me through your book. Mm -hmm. I noticed that uh, you've, uh, you've wanted to write this book for a long time, haven't you? Yes. Well, I, I, I've wanted to write a book I, I, Maybe since not this I was book? a child. Yeah. The form this book took um, uh, is perhaps different from what I might have uh, expected when I was re thinking, uh, when I was reflecting on my life growing up and what kind of book it would be that I would one day write. And uh, it took a form that, uh, it, it took a lot of living and, and distillation of, of life and then it finally came out. Did you keep a journal? Because this is almost like a diary of your life. You must have, because I it's did, so vivid, every detail. Yeah, I did keep a journal, but so much of this book comes from, from memory and, and, and living consciously and trying to remember the, uh, the people that I, I've loved and the people that I've lost and, and, the, and the moments that I've shared and the friends that have come and gone. And, and as you know, there's, there's music in this book, and, and uh, we had to get the rights to about 50 songs, and we did, and the music brings me back to to the moments and the experiences and the passions and the and 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 and, and, and the you memories. Know, I think it also gives the viewer a chance to kind of latch on and take a ride with their own personal view because mm -hmm. your book I think it parallels a lot of our lives. I mean, obviously the episodes are different. Your your mother was a psychic, your dad mm -hmm. was abusive, you lost mm -hmm. friends to murder. Right. Uh, you were married for 25 years, your divorce kind of up and down, but uh, and then you, you put it all out there, the underbelly of your life. Uh, I'm just curious of the reaction. What's been the reaction, uh, family and friends? And uh, I, I know your mom's passed away, but even your dad. Um, my brothers and sister have read the book, and they are, the, their first reaction was, you are so incredibly honest about all of our lives. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And, and then, then, then it brought them back to the great moments we all shared together and all the great feelings we had as a family. And it really brought home uh, the incredible mother we had, uh, the amazing mother. People came from all over the world to see her. She was a psychic. She was gifted. Um, she read for the very poor and, and indigent that needed help. And she read for the very rich and famous, like, Marlon Brando, and uh, um, and there, there, there's a nice little vignette in the book about you know Marlon Brando and that experience. But but the reaction of my brothers and sister has been, wow, how did you remember that much? You're so accurate, and the and the, and the joy of reliving the, the, our lives together, and especially my mom. In terms of my father, um, we we are in contact from time to time. Uh, it wasn't the most. Uh, 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 nurturing father in the world, but uh, as I say in the book, uh, we you don't forget what happens, but you do learn how to forgive. Right. And we had a, a, an experience where we came back to where I saw him a few years ago, and 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 saw where he was raised and and the and the, the family home, and I realized that when he was in his early twenties. He didn't have the baggage of, 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 of uh, the obligations uh, of a father and, and what, it would be, what would be required to be a good father. He was a young man in his early 20s, a musician. Uh, I looked at the front door in Montreal where he lived and, and it brought tears to my eyes because I realized, um, you know, we're all 20, 21, 22, 23 at some point in our lives and we don't... How, we don't know what it's going to be like. We grow up, yeah. basically, and I think we get tender as we get a little bit older and we reflect back because we know we're not going to be here forever. I've got to ask you about the title. If you ever need me, I won't be far away. Is that some sort of message to your own kids? It's a message to my kids. It's also what my mother told me shortly before she passed away. Um, in the last week or so, she knew she was going from cancer, mm -hmm. and she said, you know, Bruce, I'm always going to be on the other side. If you ever need me in your life, I won't be far away. Very nice. What would she say about the book? She would be deeply, deeply touched. She would be proud. And she would say, 
you have fulfilled your one of the great one of the, one of the one of the necessities in, in being who you are, Bruce, was to write a book. The book is everything you would have ever wanted it to be, and you fulfilled an essential part of your life. Well, people love it so far. It's been out since October, and Bruce, we wish you all the best with it. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming in. If you'd like to purchase a copy of Bruce Rosen's memoir, go to almarosepublishing.com. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. More Bay Sunday right after the break.